A great feature of the SG24 is that it's highly customizable. Actually, you can build a completely different rifle, as we can see right here. This is basically just the SG24 with the M40A3 conversion kit installed and, as you can see, a bunch of accessories. The M40A3 conversion kit is super easy to install. You take your SSG, you just remove a bunch of screws, so here in the back, here in the trigger guard and the bipod stud. You take the stock away from the receiver barrel assembly and then you just drop it into M40. No modifications required, it's not one of those products which you have to fit with a file or sandpaper or anything like this. You just drop it in here, you tie the screw styles and you're done. The M40 3 stock is a much more advanced stock than the standard stock from the SG24. It has a lot more features, so let me guide you through all of them. Right here in the back we have a rubberized backplate with a nice texture which gives you, you know, a nice comfort while shooting. It is also adjustable, so you can adjust the length to pull with those four plates right here. Um, those are inserted and mounted with two screws, so you can loose those and remove some of the plates to adjust the length of the stock to the length of your arms. Right here, we have an adjustable cheek rest, which is quite handy because, you know, scopes have different heights or faces are different. So what you want to achieve with this cheek rest is that when you're looking at your target and you want to align your eyes with the crosshairs and with the scope, you just lean into the gun and you're already set, since you can adjust this height right here. The way you adjust it is quite easy. You just untie those two steel thumb screws, you adjust the height and then you tie it down again. The cheek rest is made of metal, so very sturdy. Once it's tightened down, it's not gonna go anywhere. And it's also coated with this rubber right here, which means when you touch it, you know, when it's very cold, the skin doesn't directly touch the metal, which is also a nice feature. The way the cheek rest is mounted into the rifle is with this embedded aluminium block right here, which means that this cheek rest is really, really sturdy. If you bump it into something, it's not going to readjust and it's going to stay. It's built to last and it's built to stay in the place where you want it to be. Then the M40 A3 stock also has, and that's probably one of the features that I like the most, it has QD sling mounts. Six of them, so three in the back and three in front. So no matter if you're left-handed, right-handed, you can put the slings to the right or to the left side. And what's nice about it is that since the sling mounts are on the side, the rifle is gonna hang way more naturally on your body if you drop it into the sling. Not like on the SG24 where it's gonna flip sometimes, it's gonna hang and stay completely stable. Those QD sling mounts are not included. Those are, can be separately purchased at knowledge.com. And as you can see, you can put them in all kinds of positions. Another great feature is the almost 90 degree vertical grip right here with the nice texture. You know, gives you nice control of your gun. You can press it nice into your shoulder and give, you know, just make a very stable shooting platform. Then here, the handguard is also uh, textured for better grip, so it's not gonna slip out of your hands. And then, of course, we have the bipod stud for the mounting options and all the features that you have on the SG24, which is, you know, you can still use the safety, you can rack the bolt just like normal, and you have the magazine well here on the bottom, trigger guard made of metal, just like on the SG24. Another great feature is that you can install the front accessory rail uh, made of aluminium, it's very, very lightweight, so it's not gonna add to the weight of your gun, but it's first adding to the look of your gun. Just makes it look more unique, makes it kind of look like an M40A5. And also, you know, it's a mounting option for zoom cams. So if you happen to make zoom cam footage, you can mount a zoom cam right here. And you can also mount a selfie cam here on the side. If you want to have it on the right side, you can just keep the rail like this. Or if you want to have the selfie cam on the left side, you can switch this rail right here and mount it on the left side. Uh, other than that, the stock itself is just very sturdy. It's made of a very thick material, so there's no flex, no bend. It feels solid in your hands. Uh, a little bit heavier than the SG24 stock, just slightly. You won't really feel it, but if you weight it, you're gonna see it is a little bit heavier. So if you're looking for an M40 A3 or A5 and you want it to be great out of the box where you don't need to do any modifications, Look no further, get yourself an SG24 and the M40A3 conversion kit and you're all set.